Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was just playing around while that video was loading, and I thought I'd show a little bit of uh, insight here to another tool. We're going to convert this to a curve, so now it's a curve like we had in the other video. I'm going to make a one inch, matter of fact, I'm going to make it 99.99 little rectangle, and I'm going to put it right there. Then I'm going to control D and I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to put another one over here. And then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Of course, it put it way down there because I that was a link. But I'm going to make this one bigger. And I'm going to put it right there. So that one is quite a bit bigger than 0.99. So now we're going to take our virtual segment delete key and delete that interior line. And I'm just going to show you how you could pick some nodes to join. And we're going to take that square away. Take that square away, rectangle. And now we've got some nodes that are different spaces apart. And if you remember, this is 0.99. Let's just measure it with the parallel dimension tool. Go from that node to that node, and we got 0.99. So if we want to join these curves, you need to select it. Select all your nodes. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and we're going to join anything an inch or less gap tolerance and hit Apply. It joined the curves that were less than an inch, but it did not touch the other one. Now, when it joined the curve, it gave you some nodes, but these are very easily taken apart or just deleted, and it's still a good complete line because it joined them. So that's how you can join curves. Now, this one's bigger, but we don't know how big it is, but let's take the parallel dimension tool and go from that node to that node, and it's 3.46 inches. So it's under that inch, so it would not join it. Let's go ahead and join this. There'd really be a never a case you would probably do this, but we're going to make this, now we're going to make our gap tolerance four inches and it joined those curves. Now you can delete this and you've got a rectangle. Now, just a little insight to make the video a little bit better. If you ever wanted to do something with this rectangle, select it all and go right here and break curve apart and you could actually, I selected all the nodes, you could actually move any of these lines out of the way because you've broken them apart. And this one might be a, would work if you wanted to just join those two again by hit apply if you were making a shape. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank